Hey, I'm Larissa from Beekeeping Made Simple, and in this video, I am going to let you shadow me. Everybody says shadow a beekeeper, shadow a beekeeper, but what if you can't? So this video is second best to being able to go to a real bee yard and shadow a beekeeper. I am going to open this hive. I am going to go through my inspection sheet and decide if this hive is doing well and nothing is needed or if there's something we need to do for these bees. You can download this beehive checklist, inspection sheet, whatever you'd like to call it, uh, at the link in the video description if you like, or go along with whatever beehive inspection sheet you like. There are also apps that you can use. Personally, I don't like to <laughs> use my phone too much when opening the beehive because I have found that I get my phone disgusting, covered in propolis, which is no good for technology. I like to start with the first box, work my way down. Yikes. Also, make sure your veil is on and zipped up. Always good. A couple of things to keep in mind here. We have a hive that is just two brood boxes, no honey supers, and it's late fall. The hive is much smaller. There are very few drones, if any at all. They are not bringing in honey. They haven't in months. They are really just eating their honey reserves. So some things to keep in mind is that the queen's not going to be laying much. We will see some brood and some eggs, but probably more on the pupa end than eggs and small larvae. There's not going to be a lot of honey and we need to keep that in mind because this is a very tricky time of year where you don't want the bees to have too much honey and get infested with hive beetles but you want them to have enough that they're not starving. So I like to get, make sure they have at least one frame of honey for every four frames of brood so they're not starving. So Looking at our hive inspection checklist, first, you know, we have our hive name and the weather conditions and date and the temper. And when you first open the hive, it's a good time to tell the temper and whether they're mad or not. They look pretty calm. I'm just going to talk out loud the things that I go through in my head. Pull some frames out, but not all of them. And stop when I think it's sufficient that we've seen enough in this beehive. So here we have a frame of honey, which is usually what you see when you first open the hive. And the second frame is half honey, half brood. So I'm gonna put a tick mark where I see brood and where I see honey on my hive inspection checklist. And the last time I checked this hive, everything was okay. They weren't incredibly strong, but I'm not expecting that this time of year. And we're going to be putting in a treatment next week, actually. Here's another frame, just like the last one. Pupating bees and some honey. And so, since it's a slow time of year, I'm not opening up my beehives every week. I'd say one to two times a month right now. Just to make sure that they have enough food. So I don't like to leave them too much and let the small hive beetle take over. So I'm also looking to see the population. Even though the population will be smaller because it is later in the year. Now this isn't how full a frame would be in the summertime. You want the frame protected. You want those baby bees being kept warm. Oh look, and there's a little fake queen cell, unused queen cell, right here. Now when I inspect the hives, Every beekeeper has their own personal style. Since you're shadowing me, I'm going to share with you my style, which is I like to see what they're up to. I don't like to get too involved in the brood. And I don't like to check on them for too long. 
20 minutes is really the max amount of time I think you should be spending checking on your bees. And so I could see this frame is food, a little bit of pollen, mostly honey. And the next frame next to it, I can see in there is food too, so I don't need to bother that. So this box is mostly food and a couple frames of brood. I know that there was a queen in there, but I haven't seen any eggs or young larvae, so I can't be positive that there is a queen that is currently laying in this hive. There are two frames missing in this hive. I do not know why that is. I have to ask the last beekeeper that opened it. There's actually only six frames in here. Since there isn't a nectar flow going on and the bees aren't actively building comb, it's really not a big deal that we have some gaps in the hive. This isn't the time of year when we have to worry about bees building crazy comb everywhere. Now we're moving down to the first brood box. Don't like to bother the brood too much. Just see what I need to see and leave them alone. We have some honey. Okay, let's give you a closer look at what I'm doing. Put my hive tool in here, the ears, separate them, and then I pull the frame out with my hands. Don't use the hive tool to pull the frame out. This is some really dark comb. This is a frame that I would be taking out of the hive once there are no more baby bees in here. We're seeing a lot of pupa, the capped bees. And then these cells on the sides are empty. Worker bees walking around, not seeing any drones. I'm gonna put this back in the box because it is brood and you don't want the brood out in the sunlight and you want it to stay at the hive temperature. Oh, and here we have the queen bee. You see her, she's darker in color. You see those bees facing her, following her around, touching her with their antenna. So if you were to look for the eggs, this is a good time to look for them. Don't spend too much time because you have a queen bee walking around and it's possible that she will <laughs> fly away. I always, before I put the frame with the queen on it, back in the hive, I always check to make sure I see her because I have had a queen fly away. Once I found her actually like a couple feet away. I caught her, I put her back in the hive. This hive is full of really dark brood comb. So this is a hive I would really like to replace the frames with once these frames become empty from the brood. Got a good population, good temper. Decent amount of brood, but very little young brood. You're seeing mostly pupating bees. And the hive population, the amount of laying the queen is doing has gone down quite a bit. And this frame is totally empty. Totally, totally empty. Nothing in those cells. Oh. There is a beetle scurrying around in the lower right corner. So this hive has six frames of brood, very little eggs and larvae, mostly capped brood, and has enough food. These frames are empty got lots of room for the queen to lay when she wants to start laying. I, after a day of checking the bees, I feel like my back is a candy cane shape. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching my video. Please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you appreciated this video. Leave comments in the section if you have questions about what I wrote or questions about your beehives and what's going on with them right now. If you want to be notified of my next video and when I go live, which is the first Friday of the month, then hit that bell icon after you subscribe so that you get notified about it. I have an online beekeeping class. You can try it free for one month. Just go to beekeepingmadesimple.com and next is your quiz. These aren't active. That's it. Since there isn't a nectar flow going on.